I am honored to be a special guest on Pour on the Power with Pastor Rhonda Faye Williams Jackson. Wow. <laughs> How you doing, ma'am? I'm well. Good, good. Uh, you have a new phrase, uh, and it is wealth is... Health. Health. Health, health is, is wealth. wealth. Health right. is wealth. Uh, having said that, it's the day before Christmas. Uh, what are you planning to eat? Hey. <laughs> I'm planning to eat some okra gumbo, some crab cakes, okay. some potato salad, and something else. How are you going to eat crab cakes without crabs? It's an amazing recipe. No seafood, no meat. Meatless recipe. But it's awesome. And that's my plans. Amen. It's going to be some good food. It's all alkaline. Now, uh, which one? Divine health or divine healing? Well, according to the word of God, I'm already healed. Okay. So I don't need to walk in or ask for divine healing because I'm already healed. So I want to walk in divine health. And the only way that I'm going to walk in divine health continuously is if I take care of my body. Okay. Right. So, uh, let me read First Peter 2.24. It says, who, in his, who his own self bore our sins in our own body on the tree, that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. So yes, you're right, we already have it, but we have to walk this thing out. Uh, There's some things uh, that, we, that we use, and uh, you talked about convenience fruit as opposed to fruits that has not been altered. Uh, give me an example of what you're talking about, fruits that have been altered and uh, what you call convenience fruit. Well, convenient fruit is Seedless watermelon. <laughs> we don't want to pick the water, the seeds out the watermelon, so we go buy seedless watermelon. Mm -hmm. Seedless grapes, um, all those several fruits that the seeds seeds has already been removed, so they've been uh, faltered. So we, they're not the natural thing. So we want to, we got to remember, everything comes from a seed. So when you're eating your fruit, we want to make sure that we're eating fruit that has a seed. And if it doesn't have a seed, it's not the natural fruit. And so therefore you're not getting the proper nutrients from that fruit, everything you need because it's been altered. And uh, I think there's a scripture that, uh, that, that goes to that. In fact, Genesis 129, mm -hmm. uh, it says, and God said, behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. So, yes, ma'am, you are indeed right. Uh, I know, let me see, you had uh, uh, Bernard IV on, on two of your shows. Mm -hmm. You had a panel. Uh, you care to update us on your panel? Because I think at that time, uh, almost everybody was alkaline with the exception of one. Yes, and, and that the other person has joined Acaline, okay. so now they're Acaline, eating Acaline, and um, it's amazing because they've, not only are they enjoying eating that way, but they've lost, shared several pounds, and they're excited about the journey, and I'm looking forward to having them come back in a month or so just to see the difference. Um, uh, one of the things that happen when, when you go alkaline, we don't worry about losing weight. We worry about losing waste. Mm -hmm. um, or or I don't, I'm not even going to say worry, but um, it's about losing waste, not about the weight. The, because you're eating and feeding your body properly, the weight just automatically falls off. And you don't have to be concerned with the weight anymore, but you are nourishing your body properly so therefore you feel good uh, your body uh, uh, get rid of the foods properly so your your body's functioning properly therefore you don't hold on to waste anymore so um, to hear the good news that they are shedding pounds is good so I'm mm -hmm. excited about that um, I'm excited about their beginning to feel good you know waking up early 
One of the girls on the panel, she couldn't get up at 9.30. Now she's up 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. She's talking mm -hmm. about she rise early now. And so she's noticing how she's feeling. And, and so that is awesome. Um, when you couldn't get up out of the bed and now you can, that just that starting off with that is great. So um, I'm excited about everybody talking about the journey. And since then, we've had several others that have um, begin to change their eating habits and they're calling in, testifying about what's going on with their bodies, how they're feeling and testifying that their families are telling them that they look good, that they look different. And um, it's just an amazing, it's, it's really, really good. I'm excited about this journey. And I'm excited that the main thing I'm excited about more than anything is that you are caring enough about yourself, that you're taking the time out to put, to to invest in yourself. Um, we invest in so many things and we uh, look at people and want to do certain things. But when you take the time to invest in yourself, invest in your health, um, because we, as we said at the beginning, uh, health, wealth is health. Health is wealth. And what's the use of having wealth if you're not healthy? Mm -hmm. So it all goes hand in hand. And um, we're just excited about it. Amen. Uh, that is, that's going to conclude this particular session. We're going to do this all over again. Appreciate you joining us. Second Corinthians chapter five, verse seven, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Life Construction Church, building the kingdom of God, one life at a time. Amen. Life